You hear that? Exactly. Today is Taika's first day at school and we finally have some peace and quiet to get some work done. Don't get me wrong, I love it when he's around. I love him to death. I love spending every minute with him because he's so freaking fun and we play and we have a really good time. But when he's around, it's tough to get work done. And if work doesn't get done, bills don't get paid. And we're not gonna be able to have food and, and have all the fun toys that he likes. But what I'm also really excited and looking forward to is Ma Bear cleaned her side of the office yesterday if you guys watched that vlog but she organized it all and so now i get ah! <laughs> you scared me <laughs> but now Did I really? yeah i get my what is it what, a co-worker back yeah i get my co-worker back yep and i come bearing gifts oh hell yeah my dad came um the other day um and he has these oranges that he grows <laughs> that he grows in his house and they're so freaking sweet yeah i think he pees on the soil you know what i mean like i feel like the only way to achieve this type of sweetness is to add some type of fertilizer he doesn't get fertilizer that i've seen besides uh old tyson's poop and pee he actually shits in the floor you're dead yeah it's the oh, cantonese nice. way <laughs> yep. That's where you get it from. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I think honestly the 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 floor is so fertilized because of uh Tyson used to live with my dad and he would pee and poo. My dad has a small backyard and you know German shepherds got big old poops. So I think it's very well mm -hmm. concentrated there. But those they're things awesome. are sweet, huh? Not as sweet as me, but they're close. <laughs> Shut up. Lunch break time. Left the vlog camera upstairs. So I have to run upstairs to get it. That's why I'm out of breath. It was CUNY. Oh, Damn! Hey, I lost three pounds. New year, new you, baby. I love you when you're fat. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because I don't love you when you're fat. So I really appreciate that. But yeah, me and uh, Ma Bear, we were having a meeting on Zoom because we're meeting even though we're in the same room because we're all in the same company, but people are different places. And it was crazy, the feedback. So on one hand, I love having her back with me. The other hand, it is tougher when you're in an office. Yeah, especially when you don't like your coworkers. Hey, dude, <laughs> freaking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's such a good word. I know, that's a good word, huh? It's a fucking good Is word. Is that gonna be good? I don't know. Ginger with the Let me see. Monster Mash? Mother have Pondu. Oh, true. You made it oh. age already. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eating healthy. New year, new me, like she was saying. Trying to lose a little bit of this. Which is really not new, new you. It's literally the same. You always fucking up trying to do. Well, I was trying to get strong, and I got pretty strong. I've been hitting 455 consistently for four weeks straight now. I'm like, cool, I got a good base strength. Now I could build on top of it. Now I'm gonna get a little bit leaner just so I don't look so ridiculous. Okay, so it's been kind of a crazy, but a normal day, because our days are pretty crazy. So Tyke is back at school, which has been kind of nice, but I do miss him, but not as much to be like, be here because mama got shit to do, you know what I mean? So um, had a bunch of meetings. Uh, then it's lunchtime, as Bart was talking about, we're eating our healthy meals again. Um, as I was getting that done, I ordered groceries. Thank God for Instacart, because I was able to get like milk, and I got um, some bagels. Y'all, if you guys are just eating regular peanut butter without the honey, what are you doing? Stop it right now. Go get peanut butter with honey in it. It is a game changer. The same way crunchy peanut butter is a game changer. And if you don't like crunchy peanut butter, we can still be friends, but I mean, I'm gonna be like, oh, you like that sticky mouth, huh? You like that roof shit. I hope I ain't a roof type of stuff, but we'll still be friends. Um, I always have frosting and eggs on deck because my little duty duty 
loves baking. He loves being in the kitchen, which is ironic because I don't hate it. I just never, I feel like I have, I'll explain why I did this in a minute, but I never had a reason to be in the kitchen because growing up, my mom always cooked and then my grandma would bounce back and forth between her daughter here in California or in California, AKA my mom, or Mexico, Guadalajara, Jalisco to be exact, with her other daughter. So she would spend a few months there and then a few months with us. In the time that she was with us, um, she would cook all the time and she loved cooking. And then when I would try to learn, she'd be like, quítate de aquí, like get out of this kitchen, you don't belong here. And now I'm old and I'm like, I should have learned. But because of that, I never had a reason to learn, so I didn't, so I don't really ever cook, but Taika loves it. So that's the irony that I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I really try to nurture that. So anytime he wants to bake or cook, I'm all about it. So I always try to have these things on deck so that when he's ready, we're ready to rock. And this bread right here is just nostalgic. My mom always got this bread. It's not the best. It's not the most flavorful. It's not the softest. It's not the sweet. Like it's very mediocre bread. It's still bomb though. Don't get me wrong. It's still bomb, but it's nothing special. But it's special to me because my mom always had this bread and it was just always in the house. So when I have it now, it makes me think of her and it makes me feel all soft and warm and fuzzy on the inside. So I got it, you know, for that reason. I got Taika some cereal because he loves cereal. Some more cereal. Got us some little snacks. These are awesome, especially if you're cutting or you're on a diet or if you're just not on a diet and you want like a light little snack. These are great. It's only 50 calories per cake. Um, you can add fruit, yogurt, you can mash it up. I mean, these are just such versatile and they come in so many different, um, oh, it's gluten free too, but so many different flavors. You can get them savory, you can get them sweet, you can get them plain. Um, I like to put peanut butter on them or I just eat it like this with coffee. Caramel is my favorite. This brand specifically is my favorite. Like it's, I think an off brand, but it's the best in this flavor. And they have one in chocolate that I could never find anywhere anymore. Like I feel like every time they restock it, everyone takes them off the shelves. So I could never find them. So I'm on the quest for those, but for now, caramel and I think apple cinnamon are the shit. Okay, so now why I was going like this was because at least one of us is on a diet. Clearly, I'm not. So I ate one of these. And these are so fucking bad. So there's three of them. It's 12 grams of fucking fat. That is horrible. Two grams of protein. This is the worst macros ever. Sorry for the weird angle. But these are the macros I want. One gram of protein, even though that's still very little, but zero fat. You want your fats to be lower, but that's not a general rule of thumb. It all depends on what your fitness goal is. Um, it also depends on how your body processes fats, carbs, um, the type of metabolism you have. Some people have super fast metabolism. Some people have very low, slow metabolism. Some people just have regular ass metabolism so like anything i say or if anyone ever tries to pitch it to you as this is law this is it it is what it is they're bullshit go the other direction do not listen to them there's no general rule of thumb for a lot of these things other than we should be eating fruits veggies protein and even protein doesn't have to be meat okay when i say protein there's so many things that have protein in it so you can have a vegan diet and still get protein. I mean, your protein sources are gonna be completely different because there's different minerals and uh, vitamins that animal protein has versus like plant protein, but that still can be remedied with like micronutrients, uh, 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 supplements, um, multivitamins, like there's just so many different things. So my point is there's no one rule of thumb for anything in this life. So just do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Just keep it healthy, you know what I mean? Um, Okay, so as I was eating, this food gets dropped off, which is awesome. And then I get a phone call about my car because my lease is up. I leased my Tesla for three years. And if you're wondering, like, is it better to lease or finance? Another rule of thumb that does not apply, that is not a general rule of thumb, is that everyone is different. It depends on what your life structure is. It depends on where you want to be in the next five, 10 years. It depends on where you want to be in the one year. Um, if you're a business owner in the beginning, maybe even towards the middle, like there's no general rule. Isn't this annoying? 
But like for most uh, business owners, leasing is better than financing. But again, there's no general rule of thumb. So what did you learn today? Jack shit, you're welcome. But yeah, so my lease was up and usually I get another lease. So before this car, I had a BMW. Before that car, I had my Honda. Honda. Before that car, I had my first car ever, which is a Geo Prism. Um, I bought my Geo, financed my Honda, leased my Beamer, and then this is the second lease I've had. So I was about to lease again, but with all these supply chain shortages and just everything, like being so um, limited in supply, cars are so much more expensive and so hard to come by. So I was just like, I'm just gonna take my lease over. So I was talking to the guy about converting my lease into a finance and I think I own my Tesla now, which is really cool. Um, so thank you. I'm an adult now. Dude! <laughs> I got you from school. What did yeah. we just pick up? Snacks. Show me what snacks you bought. I got. I, I got Rice Krispies and an egg. Yeah? Why do you get so many snacks? Because it's so yummy. So yummy? Yeah. So that's been our tradition. We either get Dutch Bros. Tycho will get, not coffee obviously, he'll get like this strawberry slush. But right now since it's been cold, it makes his throat cold. So then he starts coughing. So the alternative is just getting a little snack before jujitsu. Ha huh, dude? Yeah, I can't open it. I will open it. Yeah, he gets this guy. Have you guys had this? This is like really delicious. Can you hold it for mommy? Yes, mama. You're holding it? Okay. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Point it at mama. Yeah. Okay. So this is really cool. Is it heavy? No. Oh, yeah. oh you're a strong guy. And then we open it. Yeah. One side has what? What does one side have and the other side? This one has a toy. This one has chocolate. Yeah, show me. Show everybody. Show everybody in the world. And then what? So that one has the toy or does that have the chocolate? Chocolate. Ooh. You know, I've never had these before you. Did you know that? Yeah, do you want some? No, thanks. It's like this hazelnut chocolate. You want me to open that too? This one's the chocolate. Oh, dude, let me see it. Oh, here, mama. Oh, I get the trash? Thanks, dude. You're so nice. Yeah. Okay, oh. tell me what it tastes like. Okay, I'll try Taste it, taste it, hurry. Mmm. What does it taste like? Chocolate and vanilla. And vanilla? Let me see, let me see. Yum. Whoa, that looks delicious. Okay, so while he does that, this, a lot of um, Vegas uh, gas stations, they have a drive through car wash, and mm. I haven't washed my car in literally months. So we're gonna go through that. And it's really bad to go through it with a wrap on, but YOLO. Look, monkey! The beginning of the wash has begun. We haven't gone through it yet. Are you ready, dude? Whoa, did you finish that already? Let me see. It only took me like five minutes to pay, dude. Wow, you're fast. That's it. I love it because I want to eat so well with it. Oh, okay. Here we go, duty. What? Whoa. I did avoid the hot wax and all that stuff because, again, I have a wrap. So this is just going to be a simple wash. You ready, monkey, monkey? Oh, no. Look at that. Is it cool? Hey, look at that, guys. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No, the camera. Oh, okay. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa, look at that. Is it cool? Yeah. 
And I think that's it. Yeah, that was cool. It was cool? Yeah, that was cool. And now it's going to dry it. And? See, it's going to dry it, yeah. Big fans, so just going to dry it all. Look at that! It's going to look crazy! Yeah, the, it's because it's getting dry. Step and step. Oh. No, 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 no
I'm bomb. Ooh, I'm bomb. Come here. Come a little piece. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I'll give you bite. Oh my gosh, it's crunchy on the outside. Oh, oh damn, that looks good though. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Wow. Mmm. That's a good steak. This is very good. That's what going through. Yeah. You said bump it? I was not imagining this. This is like a California Nick's trying to lure Ryan and Mate to sleep in the same room with him. Tape, bro. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but yeah. So what if I am? That's, that is dope, dude. Dude, check out the shower, bro. Come here. Wait, so, <laughs> so, wait, check wait, the shower. so which, which bed are we in? Top and bottom. <laughs> We're in Both of you guys are in one bunk. It's yeah. the ambiance, bro. Come on. The shower. Wow. Dude. His and her sinks. I'll be the her. Or his and his sinks. He's brushing my got a long ass toothbrush. <laughs> That's the biggest that mouth I've ever seen. Now what you have that for? What were you about to? To get I some more work to, done? Yeah. Kenny. <laughs> Why do you have your pants <laughs> out the bottom of your sweater? I'm cold. To be cutie. That's me. Yeah, we're both tired. This house feels very cuny with our friends coming to visit and stay here. They're actually out here because we're shooting some uh, JK New stuff. So it feels cuny to have them in here and everyone's just a bunch of goofballs. But I'm going to go to sleep now and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.